Welcome back to Orcs Must Die 2, episode 11. I'm Enigmius, and today, upstairs, downstairs, five skulls starting fresh. As always, when I screw it up, there will be outtakes at the end of the video. Why are you reopening the rifts? I had everything under control. Without magic to bring the rains, there will be no harvest next year. Children will starve. Famine, disease, horrors beyond imagining. Is that your definition of under control? No, but hello? Starving orcs eating starving children ain't that great either. He does have a point. Hush. And you not betrayed the order, we could have held back the orcs for centuries. All right, we will uh, clear this map on Five Skulls someday. <laughs> Just might not be today. We've got, we're on the ground floor. Uh, we've got a portal right here. Obviously we've got a rift behind that door over there and we've got another door over here with the rift behind it. We've got a teleporter that lets us go upstairs very quickly, but I'll just show you the route the orcs have to take. It's like this on both sides. You go up a couple of flights of stairs, around the corner and there's another portal. Portal upstairs, portal downstairs kind of describes the name very well. And uh, basically, part of it is knowing where you need to set up your traps to uh, head things off before they get out of control. And the other part is just uh, cup your nuts and clench your butts because this is just absolute craziness. Now, <laughs> after numerous different attempts with a number of different strategies, the one that seems to be working the best for me so far... None shall pass. Swinging mace and our pal from the very first episode, the decoy. Whom we have to position just so to make sure that uh, he's, he's in a position to uh, make sure all the orcs zipping by get clobbered. And I'm going to put this here. It's very important. Surprisingly important. We started with 7,000 coins, which is quite a lot to start with. Uh, but again, it's one of those maps where if you spend it all on one side, wave two comes along and you've got nothing for the other side and you're in serious, serious trouble. So that's why I'm setting up this side, even though we won't see any use. Who wouldn't want it. to kill him? Right away. Uh, and this guy here. And we'll come over here and we've got just enough left for a little bit of acid. I will enjoy this. And here we go. Five toothed babbies in all their glory. Time to die. Now new and improved with riot shields. Which they, they don't seem to be able to hold on to very well. Uh, I guess they just haven't had a chance to get used to them. Uh, the decoy, very, very effective, especially against the smaller guys. Uh, you have to work especially hard to really do any damage to the decoy. Uh, decoy is a little more robust than a barricade in terms of how much the beating it can take. Uh, but the key is, if it is destroyed, it's destroyed. So we don't want to be necessarily Back indifferent time, to it. And uh, let mobs oh. beat on it for any longer than is absolutely necessary. So over this side... Sim bad guy configuration. We've got one extra trap over here compared to the one that we had set up over there. Uh, so double the acid, double the fun. And uh, between the swinging maze and the acid traps and me with the crossbow, these guys were pretty much dead before they even walked through the rift. That's all. Now this is where it stands to get kind of tricky, because this is where the olders so much to show start them. to come out. It begins. And they don't waste any time too, they're the first ones out that rift. They're tired of watching the five tooth babbies with their riot shields just basically fall over like nothing. But we've got one ogre, he's dead, and now... Quickly, we run over to the other side, and uh, our goal sure here, that. yes, is to kill that son of a bitch before he kills our decoy. So, to summarize, decoy good, ogre bad. And now, 
we've got uh, basically the, the downstairs to account for. And uh, I couldn't, I, yeah, I can't afford that. <laughs> Give that back. We need a decoy right here. Like so. That's good. Reasonably well centered. Now the grinders that I put here is as the orcs are coming through, it's gonna you know work them over fairly well. But it's primarily for the sappers, the son of a bitch sappers, that would otherwise just make a beeline directly for my decoy, uh, and the grinder just basically uh, sucks them all in and deals with them before they had a chance to cause any real trouble. So that's the primary reason why I made a point of getting those grinders in. And you can see, like I said, it's it's also going to grab some of the baddies that try and get by. Um, it's not a single purpose kind of arrangement, but the, the primary purpose is making sure that those sappers don't get a chance to be a problem. So, again, trying to... Uh, deal with these guys before they're able to do a bunch of damage to the decoy because if we can Stop keep our decoys alive from wave to wave it's just more coin that we have to spend there on additional traps uh, like that I can't oh, no. I remember me now uh, yeah those <laughs> Those poor sappers. Uh, this guy, I think, is a little too far forward, so we're going to keep an eye on him. Here come the uh, crossbow works. They're shooting at the decoy at the bottom of the stairs over there. Uh, so those guys are still important the as well. I'm not indifferent to them, but I just find it kind of funny that they're just taking pot shots at whoever they can. This guy is not going to be fooled by any decoy, uh, but that obviously didn't do much for him. So soon. All right, now. I'm going to enjoy uh, this. This is the beginning of the end, my friends. <laughs> Time uh, to dance. We're gonna get some medium orcs. A harsh left. Come out. There. And you think, yeah, we're good. We got this under control. And then all, all of a sudden you look. You got a free skull over there. Courtesy of that bastard. Uh, there we go. We found a sweet spot. Getting the uh, headshots on that guy. Enjoyed that. Oh, damn it! He did it again! The last second he kills the decoy. Jerk. Where this uh, is going. We're gonna relocate this guy over here as well. Someone lost their head. While I'm over here thinking about it. And then we gotta be thinking about runners. Goddamn cobalt runners. So what we're gonna do is... Uh, so and like so, and like so and so, that's all I can afford, but the issue that I've been having is that you're trying to watch both sides, and a runner will just be like, and into the friggin' portal oh, before you even I see him. So now, they've gotta basically come in front of me before they can get past me. Which puts me in a much better position to shoot them. Knock them back, do whatever I need to. More death. More. More. Because uh, having everything under control except for the goddamn kobold runners is just a tragedy. We've got right. one guy upstairs. Um, and I think possibly one crossbow orc gets by. And then we've got some more guys coming up the stairs who are crossbow orcs. So soon. All right. With any luck, we will 
do like so. The sweet burn of acid. How I love it. And like so. Blood will have and blood. Son of a bitch. That was Line up for me. almost the end. <laughs> I don't care if they're in the West Hall as long as they're not in the bottom frickin' portal. That was interesting. Who are you? Crossbow Orc again. These guys are like the special forces of orcs this time around. Into the drift. For him. And this guy's just wailing away on my damn decoy. He doesn't care. Why would he care? Out of the frying pan into my fire. That might help a Welcome bit. Welcome to my lair. With the goddamn runners <laughs> getting through almost effortlessly, oh, it seems. Delicious. We've got a bunch of guys heading over there for the upstairs. The grinder's taking care of a bunch of them. Oh, if we can see this. The score bubbles for the guys that are getting smashed by the mace. Yeah, come over here and uh, supervise, which was totally unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> at this point, I feel like I have no idea where I should be watching. I'm just kind of trying to keep an eye on the barricades and my biggest fear right now is that I'm gonna take a step away from the portal down there to deal with one of these I'm just heads, starting to enjoy myself and a runner is gonna get through that's that's the worst case scenario so we're heading into wave 10 um, and we're gonna beef up our anti-runner security as best we can see we can't this put is what traps I need. on the stairs so they've got sort of like a free pass like that um, and I guess what we can do that will help is more fire <laughs> gee when was the last time I said that uh, we've got oh we've got plenty of room for more acid over here and that's I it three waves three more waves they start with the goddamn sappers both sides this time uh, our grinders so are just dead, all taking them to school. I don't. I don't even know what's gonna come around the corner now. I. I feel like we've we've kind of set ourselves up as best we can, and uh, we're, we're trying to get upstairs. More sappers. You see how sneaky they are? They just they warn you once, and that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> I need no rest. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, I don't even know if that's a good place to have that, but we can put it there anyways. And Let them do pop. something similar over here. No, we're not. We can't afford it. I hear ogres. Uh, ooh, I, I'm kind of at this yeah. point. I'm almost expecting to see in multiples. Uh, it's, I don't really think it's going to be that long before that's what's going to happen. It's, it'll be ogres at the beginning and then ogres all day long. It, oh. So soon? Wow, that was a pretty low impact round. I was not expecting that. We can finish adding acid, acid. Come out and we got two grinders there. We have we got runners coming. So much wonderful. We're, we're death. hoping that our trap set up now is enough to contain the runners, because if we haven't taken too long and we can get through this wave, we should have it. We should have it. Cross your fingers. Oh, here, look at that. Like I was saying. How long is it going to be before? And then there they are. We're getting the headshots. I don't know if we're going to get the kills. 
that decoy is dead. Gotta get up here and get this guy in the head. Die, 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 die. Don't stun me. This guy, like, if you don't get the headshot, he takes, like, no damage at all. Ah, we did it! We did it! Finally! Finally! Five skulls! Ooh, look at that score! That is... That's shameful. Don't tell anyone about that score. <laughs> it's just goddamn awful. Let's take a look at our stats. Uh, 90% of our kills came from our traps. 35 kills with our crossbow. Had all, all of our rift points. Um, completion time, we were almost two minutes below the par time, so we did well there. Not great on the combos, definitely not great on the kill streaks. And we didn't get manaless or untouchable uh, because of the crossbow works and getting clobbered by ogres and all that other crap. But we made it. Let's see where we are. I'm thinking 40,000. Find me. 23,000. So plenty of room to move up there if we have the balls to come back and try and do this in score attack mode. So we're done. Upstairs, downstairs, five skull, next episode, next map. Leave your comments and feedback below. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and take care. We got the whole fire and ice travesty going on. They're almost there! Dickhead with the riot shield. It's, uh, yeah, he's through. A momentary pause. That was awful. <laughs> That was just absolutely terrible. Who uh, are making ogre noises. The uh, little baby frickin' orc tripped my haymaker. Hey, over here, dick. Oh! Putting the traps on the wrong side. Uh, really kind of a disappointing mistake on my part. Uh, because it's just, I mean, the fun is the traps and the killing. It's not even so much about getting the map done. It's about <laughs> I'm missing out on opportunities to uh, kill orcs in uh, violent and devastating ways. Oh, you son of a bitch. We got hit a little bit more than I thought in that last one. So we got the Frost Ogre, we've got a Fire Ogre. He just danced right through that maze trap. And now, don't you dare, you son of a Just like that. A momentary pause. I hate them. I hate them all. Look at this. I don't think either one of them got hit by the trap. God, those guys uh, thinking twice about getting by. Look at this dick. Just saunters right on through. Because uh, now we get the sappers coming through, being jerks. No runners. Oh, you... God damn it, that was my fault too.